Hello, Ophiuchus. Welcome to Divine Conversations, and welcome to October. I hope you guys are doing well so far. So keep in mind, guys, that this is going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading, okay? So this is coming through for October, but it doesn't necessarily have to resonate for you at that time whenever you're guided to watch this reading, and it resonates, and that's for you in that moment. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe, please, if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. All right, one last shuffle here for you, Ophiuchus, and we'll see what messages we have for you at this time. I want to look at the bottom of the deck so far. Okay, the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is the first energy that wants to present itself to you. Um, so you're, you're, okay, I'm hearing that you're overburdened by something, but also as I started to channel your energy, I was seeing the color purple. Um, and when I, see, when I see purple, I think of, um, <laughs> I think of enlightenment. Um, a, a, in this case for you, I feel like you're becoming aware of something. I feel like you're getting, starting to understand something from a higher point of view from a higher level, a higher perspective, in terms of some of the, uh, ooh, okay, I'm hearing in terms of some of the boundaries that you may have, that you may have put forth, that you may be holding in place. And what I'm getting with that right now is that those boundaries, something about these boundaries that you're holding is becoming detrimental to you or has been detrimental to you. It may have been detrimental to you for a while, um, but you're not just now starting to intrinsically understand what that means for you and how it is a how it is of a detriment to you And I feel like with this awareness this higher wisdom this higher perspective that's coming through It's going to allow you to alleviate some of this. Okay All right, let's go further. What's going on for Ophiuchus? The world is your first card officially the king of cups um yeah, we'll stop here. The King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Um, okay, and then the overall energy now is the Queen of Wands. And what I wanna ask you with the Queen of Wands is, or I guess the question is with the Queen of Wands, what is it that you want to be in alignment with? Um, there was something else that I wanted to say, but now I've lost that, so maybe it'll come back to me. But you have the world, the King of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. And I feel like this is, the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles energy are the two sides of you that you are facing right now. Um, and I feel like you're choosing between these two energies here. The last card that came out is the King of Pentacles. And I feel like this King of Pentacles is that sense of rigidness, that rigid energy that you may have been holding, certain rigid boundaries, maybe even beliefs that you may have been holding. And now the, comp the, the competition really is between the King of Cups energy and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so the King of Pentacles being that rigid energy that you have been holding, the rigid stance you may have been holding. The King of Cups is the, what I want to say is the higher newer evolved version of yourself so i feel like there are some things that you are facing right now on an emotional level okay there is a there is a there is a need for you to be oh, i just heard more emotionally adept and some of the, bur the some of the burdens that you may have been carrying which are related to the boundaries that you've been holding um, have been related to the fact that maybe you weren't approaching the situation from a fully emotionally mature energy. But I don't want you to, to take that, it, it, take offense to that. It's not meant to offend you be, because at this point, now you are able to step into this higher awareness and this higher sense of emotional responsibility, emotional stability, emotional awareness, emotional availability. That is causing you to but also i want to say allowing you to see whatever it is you've been whatever belief system you've been holding or whatever rigid stance you may have been holding from a different perspective now that doesn't mean that um some of these boundaries are are not necessary in some cases maybe that is the case um but in, in other cases, I want to say maybe these boundaries are just evolving. Maybe the way that you um, associate with these specific energies is evolving. Okay, so 
it, for the most part here, I do feel like the boundaries are going to be changing somehow. In some cases, you may release that boundary altogether. In other cases, you're just changing the way you involve yourself with these energies. And then the overall energy being the Queen of Wands here, the overall energy being the Queen of Wands is, is like I said, is asking you what is it that you actually truly want to be alignment with, in, in alignment with? What energetic resonance do you want to hold? For some of you, you are recognizing that, um, you know, again, like I said earlier, you're recognizing that some of the, the energetic alignment that you've been holding, the stance that you've been holding, the vibration that you have been in is detrimental to you somehow, is causing you pain and strife, is causing you more burden than is necessary. Um, and part of that energy, I am feeling like it, it does have to do with like an inter, interpersonally. So people that you are associated with, people that may have been your friends, your colleagues, maybe this could be between you and a romantic partner. Um, or maybe you and some family members, but I am feeling the energy of how it is you relate to people. The vibration that you hold in accordance with how you relate to other people, how you connect with other people. Um, some of you may have been really standoffish and that served you for a while. Um, but that doesn't mean that it hasn't been somewhat detrimental to you. But again, like I've been saying, at this point, you are able to see this from a higher perspective and make the appropriate changes to alleviate some, if not a lot, if not in some cases, all of the stress. You don't have to be so rigid. Now, this does connect to what I've been kind of channeling for Ophiuchus for the last I want to say about six months or so there's and that is related to what i mentioned last month about um you know coming back into the party being um emerging back into um social or collective consciousness and that is on behalf of the energy of ophiuchus because for a very very long time ophiuchus even though ophiuchus was a part of the elliptical the elliptical being the ring that the sun travels through um the ring of the <coughs> excuse me the ring of the zodiac that the sun travels to for the longest time your energy has been excluded and so there has been this feeling for ophiuchus for a while of reintegrating back into the collective and if you're if you're resonating with that then the feeling is that some of the boundaries that you have held in a, in in terms of associating with other people have to do with that have to do with you your energy not necessarily being accepted or let alone even acknowledged in many cases um, and the ways that you've had to protect yourself carry yourself defend yourself okay I feel like it i feel like this energy is related to that so yes last month we were saying to you you know you're there's a feeling of emerging back into the party the party being social and or collective consciousness and now as you are integrating into that collective energy that collective and social consciousness you're starting to recognize or realize how the ways that you've had to protect yourself in the past again have been detrimental to you and how it's not really necessary for you to hold that stance any longer Excuse me, guys. Hold on. Let me hold on. Sorry, I needed to blow my nose there. Um, now, the other thing that I want to say about this is this could represent you um, because uh, energetically speaking, you are very much close to associated with the closely associated with the energy of Scorpio. Uh, oftentimes, the energy of Scorpio and Ophiuchus can be um, intertwined very uh, I see, especially in, you know, some of the other interpretations of Ophiuchus energy that I've seen from other astrologers, um, I do, I am starting to understand that, you know, uh, uh, even though Ophiuchus sits between Scorpio and Sagittarius, there is a much greater similarity, or maybe even, even you could say affinity between Ophiuchus and Scorpio, and the King of Cups officially, technically would represent Scorpio energy, as the, the Kings represent the fixed energies. Interestingly enough, the exact opposite of Scorpio is in fact Taurus, which would be represented here by the King of Pentacles, okay? And Taurus, again, is another fixed sign, but Taurus would be way more rigid in its fixed nature than Scorpio purely because Taurus is an earth sign. The earth is 
very dense, very rigid, okay? Whereas Scorpio is still a fixed sign, but Scorpio is water, a water sign. So way more fluid, right? Okay. Um, and if we were going to give you a card in the deck, I would say, at least out of the court cards, I would say the King of Cups would represent you because you're so closely related to Scorpio. Now, here's the other thing. There's more Scorpio energy showing up for you here. Excuse me, sir. I am trying to do a reading. Cats. Um, you have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the Queen of Wands is death. More Scorpio energy, okay? So again, we could even associate because of that, that connection with Scorpio, we could even associate this card with you. But I feel like you would do well to have a, a different um, major arcana card. I just haven't really figured, felt that out, channeled that, anything. Anyway, um, you do have the Queen of Wands to death here. Underneath death is then the Lovers to the Five of Wands, Judgment, and even the Emperor. Okay, uh, but so what this is really confirming here for me is that there is a change in your alignment, a change in the energy that you hold, the energetic vibration that you hold, Queen of Wands, death, okay? There's a transformation there. You have the lovers to the Five of Wands and then judgment. So the Five of Wands would be, I feel like, yes, it does represent external conflict with others, but really that the, 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 the conflicting energy really feels like it's mostly within you. And with the lovers here, the lovers representing having a choice to make, a choice to a, of your highest good. I do feel like there is a level of inner conflict right now that you're working through um, in which you have to make a decision about. And that's what judgment is also saying. Judgment is like, is that wake up call. It's like, okay, it's time, it's time to decide. It's time to make a change. It's time to get into an alignment that is actually much better for you and at first this new alignment may seem like you're going against um you know some beliefs that you have held in the past or something like that but really the question here is what would be better for you would it be better for you to hold this rigid energy to continue to hold that and then and subsequently deal with the burdens that come with that or would it be better for you? Would it be a healthier choice for you? Would it serve you more to <laughs> lighten up a little bit? And I and I and when we say lighten up a little bit, I mean we don't take that too harshly because, like I like I said, it, it feels like there very much was or has been a reason as to why you have held this certain stance, but it's overburdening you. And so now it's time to decide whether it would be better for you to, again, stay in that stance or, in essence, lighten up a bit. Even if, even just for the sake of being able to relate to people better. It's not that you're not relatable. And your energy is quite intense anyway. It's supposed to be. But we all do have to find a way to live in harmony with each other. And the other thing about the King of Cups that's coming through in this moment is that you're kind of being asked to be the bigger person here, or in some cases you are required to be the bigger person here. And that's also where um, the energies of doing something that, you know, may not be easy to do, but you know it's the right thing to do, okay? That's also a level of being more emotionally mature or at least emo more emotionally stable, okay, to handle some of the circumstances which have caused you to hold such a rigid stance or hold such boundaries okay honestly i'm feeling i'm feeling from the king of cups being able to take it whatever that doesn't mean that you have to make yourself susceptible to the bullshit right but being stronger to be able to handle it and not be maybe so triggered okay that makes sense Okay, let's start clarifying here. Um, I want to start with the King of Pentacles for you. All right, so clarify the King of Pentacles for Ophiuchus, please. Ace of Swords. Okay. Again, Ophiuchus, you weren't wrong. It's not that you were wrong here. You were absolutely, in many cases, I want to say you were absolutely doing... You were absolutely doing what you felt was right and or what you felt was necessary in the time, protecting yourself. But 
at this point, you have the Ace of Swords, you have the Two of Cups, and then you have the Queen of Cups, but the Queen of Cups is reversed. There was, so at this point, in terms of this King of Pentacles energy, in terms of this rigid stance that you may have been holding, you are at, at this point, you are starting to recognize or see the truth behind Ace of Swords, um, recognize how that may have been a detriment to you or no, it was, it has been a detriment to you when it comes to relating to people, Two of Cups. And you're realizing now, Queen of Cups reversed, that this was coming from a lack of emotional awareness. I will say, especially since we're talking, oh, I'm sorry, and then finally at the bottom of the deck, let me just say this, you have the Four of Cups here. So, so not wanting to be involved, not wanting to extend a level of compassion, not wanting necessarily, not necessarily wanting to be so understanding. This does have to do with um, saying to yourself, well, okay, I understand people have hurt me and, or people have judged me or treated me poorly or improperly, but that really has more to do with them than it does with me. And I will say that with this King of Pentacles energy, which could represent Taurus, which is literally the exact opposite of Scorpio, which technically I guess you could say would kind of in some cases be a little bit of the opposite of you, Taurus energy sometimes has quite a bit of trouble with emotion. Now that kind of makes sense, earth signs, that, you know, that makes sense. Um, so I am kind of picking up on that energy. Some of you might actually have a Taurus placement, but the, re the reason that I'm saying that is because um, it just feels very rigid and it feels like you may have been resistant to owning you up to your own true feelings really deciphering going within and figuring out what your emotions are even related to what they actually even mean for you about you and you're realizing that at this point you're realizing or at least you have the opportunity to realize that the stance that you've been holding the rigidness the rigid stance that you've been holding was either in part or a great deal of it was coming from a lack of emotional awareness. Maybe even in some cases, I am kind of feeling maybe a lack of emotional boundaries because the Queen of Cups can represent that. And especially when she's reversed, she's very much susceptible to um, emotional manipulation or just wild and crazy emotions, emotions running all over the place, uncontrollable emotions in some cases. And this would translate here for you, Ophiuk, is the emotional boundaries element would translate here into recognizing, like I said, that hurt people hurt people. There is, so it has much more to do with them or the other person than it does with you. And what the King of Cups energy would say is, or would be mature enough to be like, okay, I know that hurt me. And yeah, that was fucked up or that wasn't really, that wasn't cool. That wasn't proper, whatnot, whatever. But that doesn't mean that I have to get all riled up about it. Now, it would also mean that if given the circumstances, it's like, OK, you know what? I just need to like not associate there or not like not be in that energy or be in that circumstance or be in that be around that person or that whatnot, what whatever. But that's also where a level of emotional boundaries comes from. OK. Excuse me. Let's clarify the King of Cups then. King of Cups for Ophiuchus, please. Knight of Swords, Four of Swords, yep, Seven of Pentacles, okay. That's it, overall, overall energy, we're back to the Queen of Wands. All right, so yeah, this definitely has to do with, um, I'm hearing your true alignment, who it is you truly are, or, and or what it is you are truly capable of, and shifting that energetic alignment because I do see the Queen of Wands as the in terms like when we're talking about the law of attraction that Queen of Wands would represent the feminine part of that or the feminine side of that in in terms of being receptive sitting in a position 
knowing what it is that you will want or being in energetic alignment with what it is that you want to allow that and being receptive enough to allow that to come towards you so that when the opportunity comes for you to take action towards what it is you want then the king of wands energy gets in, gets involved and you take that action okay who are you truly queen of wands is saying who do you truly want to be do you want to be this really rigid person or actually do you want to be this emotionally mature person that can handle much more than you have been handling or been able to handle in the past but the thing about that is the king of cups is also saying to you you are absolutely capable of that you are you just have to choose to allow yourself to be in that space to stand in that space and yes it's going to be difficult at first or it's going to be a bit challenging at first or it's going to feel a little shaky at first but you will get better at it over time now the king of cups is officially also along with the queen of wands the king of cups is clarified by the knight of swords the four of swords and the seven of pentacles so the knight of swords was that was was an aspect of that rigid energy that really puts you on the defensive the knight of swords absolutely definitely feels like defensiveness but with that you have the four of swords and the seven of pentacles there is a level of a balanced and or clear mind that you are accessing at this time or that you will have the potential the ability to access at this time to say to yourself seven of pentacles okay so how has that attacking energy or that rigid energy or that defensive energy how has that really been serving me what am i really getting out of that Am I losing relationships because of it? Am I losing opportunities for relationships or associations or connections or um, business opportunities, career opportunities, creative opportunities? Like what am I really getting out of being so defensive? This is definitely a moment where cooler heads are now able to prevail. And honestly, Ophiuchus, even though this is, yeah, that, that five of wands energy is coming back to mind and it may have been you know, arguments, disagreements, differing of opinion between you and another person. But really, this feels more internal. This feels like you are coming to terms with the fact that, that look, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. But that doesn't mean that, that someone else's opinion, even their actions towards me, need to negatively affect me so much. And if it does, and if it is a situation in which it's really detrimental to me, well, I don't have to fight back. I just have to remove myself from it see it for what it is and be like okay i just can't be in that space anymore or i can't be in that connection anymore or i can't be in that relationship anymore or i can't be at that job anymore whatever right all right finally let's clarify whoop, the world let's clarify the world for ophiuchus please huh the wheel of fortune the seven of wands there they are there are the defenses right there the seven of oh wait no the six of cups yeah okay and then the overall energy is the six of pentacles so for some of you here this is actually a situation which in, in which you were either holding yourself feeling stuck or just in some sort of connection that was not what that was detrimental to you there may have been actually there may have been a lot of gaslighting involved with the situation because ultimately the people or the person that you were associated with didn't want to take responsibility for their own beliefs or their own feelings or their own emotions or their own actions okay but the world here is clarified by the wheel of fortune the seven of wands and the six of cups so basically this is saying that um, there's great change coming there, there's a change in the cycle in terms of how it is you defend yourself in terms of, in terms of past energies or just the fact that this this form of defensive energy standing your ground somehow seven of wands is in the past or is about to be in the past and I do feel like there is a level of holding a certain boundary against who it is you used to be in association with or in the past. Okay? So there is a cycle that's ending, for sure. And that is confirmed by the Wheel of Fortune. Because with this energy shifting for you, within you, internally, then your environment, your surrounding environment can shift. 
there's a karmic loop that's coming to a close. And this is in terms of greater reciprocity. Six of Pentacles is overall energy. Also, the Six of Cups could represent reciprocity as well. But whereas the Six of Pentacles represents physical represent, re reciprocity, monetary, monetary, excuse me, monetary reciprocity, you know, um, the balance of possessions, the balance of money, the balance of give and take physically, the Six of Cups would represent emotional reciprocity. And it's from this space that I'm kind of picking up on for some of you that this has been a specific relationship or group association that you are maybe even completely releasing yourself from. Maybe this is a situation in which you were holding yourself here to get some sort of reciprocity. Eventually, you were trying to you were trying to achieve of balance of give and take in a certain situation, either because your pride and your ego were holding you there, or maybe there was some sort of gaslighting that was going on. And in some cases, for some of you, you are leaving this situation altogether, but that's because you're realizing that the reciprocity just can't happen. Or at least you're being emotionally immature enough to look at the situation and really ask the question, can I even get that here? And instead of staying here and trying to fight it for egoic reasons, maybe, potentially, whatnot, whatever, take it as it resonates, maybe the King of Cups is saying, maybe the best thing for me to do is just release myself from it altogether. It's not really worth the fight. Or for some of you, I'm feeling staying here or staying in this space or staying in this group association or in this relationship is making me rigid, is making me defensive, is making me feel like I have to fight back. But why do I need to fight back? Or why do you need to fight back? Especially if the other person or the other people are not willing to change, are not willing to be in this King of Cups energy like you are being influenced to, to take, to take their own responsibility for the situation. It's interesting, Ophiuchus, because this feels like a very much a Five of Swords energy, but we don't have that here yet. What's also interesting is that this felt like a boundary defensive type energy, and we didn't have that until we were clarifying the world. So let's pull our closing message for you and see what comes out. Closing message for Ophiuchus. death again okay ten of swords okay queen of swords Ooh. and the overall okay the overall energy we're back to the five of wands so it's not really a five of swords energy although it could be i don't know but it's really about the differing of opinion here it's the five of wands is your overall energy Claire, uh, I'm sorry, um, as your closing message. So your closing message officially is death, the Ten of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is the perfect energy for this moment for you, I would say, because it's not about looking at the situation objectively any longer. I think you see what exactly what it is you need to see or you know what it is you need to know, but also that's for some of you. For others of you, the dominant feeling here, the Queen of Swords is like, look, it is what it is. Just cut it. There's no need to deliberate. Stop trying to communicate about it. Stop trying to hash it out. Stop trying to talk it out. Stop trying to make it work. Just, it is what it is. You know what this is already. Just cut it. Just end it. It's done. You don't need this anymore. You don't need this association anymore. You don't need this belief system anymore. You don't need to hold this stance or these boundaries anymore. And maybe it is that you do. Maybe you do still, maybe it is beneficial to you to hold these boundaries. But again, maybe it's that you have to go about it in a different way. But ultimately, Ophiuchus, you are transforming out of a pretty painful situation. It's coming to an end now, all right? It feels very, it, I, I, I do, I, I, I believe that this does have to do with your associations with other people, the way that you relate to other people. Again, whether that's a specific romantic relationship or just like the collective and whole. Okay, and we have that represented here by the Five of Wands, which could be, yes, inner conflict, but also differing of opinion, needing to work something out with other people, something like that. But really, this feels super, super personal. So even though there are people that, other people that may be involved, it's really your choice to make. It's your understanding that you're coming to. Again, represented by the lovers that came out earlier, okay? A choice of what's best for you, ultimately. 
Okay, Ophiuchus, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. And yeah, I'm sending you so much love and I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.